All right, guys, so we're up here early morning. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. We're getting ready to enjoy us some breakfast. And the ambiance is very nice out here, guys. We're on the lanai or whatever you call this thing, fenced in. It's got the, the Banana River in the background. And we're getting ready to enjoy some breakfast. Good thing about the military side of the house when it comes down to the dining facilities, check this out. So we got, for two of us, we got us an omelet, we got uh, biscuit and some potatoes here. And we also got two cups of coffee for both meals. Janet didn't, she didn't want the uh, potatoes. For both meals, it only cost $11. That's the military guys, the dining facility. And the food is good. We ate here uh, the other day. Now, you ain't going to IHOP or Denny's and getting two meals for $11. Um, so that's what I really miss about the dining facilities and the military installations for all of you veterans. And you get what you pay for also. Hey, once again, welcome everybody to Pay Yourself Back. I am C. Los guys. And also welcome to the second day of us being here at Patrick Air Force Base and uh, <laughs> yeah, Banana River, guys. Banana River. Now, we're Army, and I'm going to say this. The Air Force has always had nicer amenities. They've always had nicer um, barracks or dorms that they call them nicer dining facilities and uh, this Air Force base does not disappoint and it just proves my point about that guys um, the cool thing about this base is that it's right on the coastline guys the only thing that separates this base from the ocean is a1a one little strip of road and we're gonna be ready to go over there in a few minutes guys even though I was an Air Force, I mean, we're all, we're all, we all share the same brotherhood um, of armed forces, you know, no matter if you're Navy, our son is in the Navy, you know, and uh, we're Army, but hey, Navy, Air Force, Marine, we're all, we're all brothers. And so this place is actually, it's really nice. I'm glad we came. Um, it's tiny though. This installation is really, really small. Um, coming from Joint Base Lewis McCord up in Washington State, you know, where they combine both of the Air Force and the Army together. Um, but just Fort Lewis alone before Joint McCord was, was pretty big. You had your main post and then you had North Fort, where they combined each other and it's really huge now. Let's walk over here quick. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is what they call the, the little auto body shop. You remember on every installation they have a little body shop where the soldiers are allowed to come and do repairs on their own car. They even have a paint booth. Um, you can change the oil, you can change out whatever, whatever maintenance issues you have on your car. You come here and then you can, I remember this man, you can, you can do it yourself. Save you some money, you know what I'm saying? You break jobs and stuff like that, see? Well, they call it auto hobby shop, but it's the same thing. It's been a while. You want to change out an engine, put your new engine in, come here and do it. They even have tools. See, it's all coming back to me. See, it's, it's, it's been a while, but I tell you, military man is, uh, they take care of their soldiers. That's one thing I would say. They take care of their soldiers. Got some fish over here. Check these little fish. The catfish. Man, hey, listen. <laughs> it's all in fun, man. It's all good, man. Air Force is. Air Force is nice. Facilities are nice. So guys, you see what I mean? A1A is right here. 
Patrick Air Force Base is right there. And the beach, guys, is right here. Ain't that something? Wouldn't you love to be stationed here? Next time we come down, we'll be more. Well, I, I brought my swimming trunks and everything, but Miss over here didn't bring. I think she brought some shorts, but she ain't really prepared. But let's check it out anyway. How you doing, bro? Pretty good. So, oh, not bad. Not bad. Very, very, very nice. What do you say? Very nice. A lot of beach out there and the water is nice. I would love to get in it, but it is a little, it is a little rocky right in here. Maybe not, right. So what we're doing on our little ride, going down A1A, and you know we said we need to stop and get something to eat you know gotta eat so we're here in coco beach we stopped at this place called epic burrito and you guys know me you know i love my burritos i think janet is gonna have the mahi mahi nachos which is supposed to be huge and then i'm having my regular shrimp burrito but um if you guys have ever been to this place epic burrito here in coco beach it looks good but i'll let you know here in a second all right that was quick oh i gotta wash that oh that's big there we are and anything else i can grab for you all just yet just a water you got it yeah thank you Look at that nachos. I'm jealous. That is big. Mm. Look at my little shrimp taco. I mean, my little shrimp burrito. <laughs> I should have got the nachos, but she going to share that with me. She just don't know it. She, gonna, she definitely going to share that with me. But I don't know. That's crazy. Huge. Don't worry. Be happy, mom. Be happy. Nothing to stress about, guys. Take it from me. Worrying about something you shouldn't be worried about. If it's beyond your control, let it go, guys. And eat. You know, to be said, I didn't want to say nothing in uh, the restaurant there. But to be told, uh, wasn't that good. The burrito wasn't that good. The nachos wasn't that good. I ain't gonna lie. And you know, the funny thing about it is that we, when we was in the PX yesterday, we was talking to this cashier and she was like, she was from New Jersey. And she was like, yeah, I know I talk a lot. And she was loud. But she was telling us about the different areas around here, up in, you know, Melbourne. She was telling us, she said, um, yeah, just, you know, try to avoid Cocoa Beach because it's a tourist trap. I was like, what? But you can tell it is a lot of, uh, it, it reminds me kind of, of like uh, Ocean Drive and places like that in Hollywood, but it is a, you know, more of a touristy type of place. But uh, yeah, the food, no, that burrito wasn't that good, man. I've never heard of, I guess that's just the way they kind of do things down here in Florida with the burritos, shrimp burritos. They put the cabbage in there. Now how you do that? Not Southern style where, you know, I'm from Texas, you know, and you put beans, rice, and whatever meat you're gonna put in there, but you don't put no cabbage in there. You might put some lettuce in there, some shredded lettuce and some tomatoes or some, you know, something like that. Some pico de gallo, but you don't put no cabbage in there. I never heard of that. See, the thing about being on the base is that the idea is so that you shouldn't really have to come off the base for nothing. You know, everything you need is right here on the base. Like I say, you got your um, you got your car wash right there. You gotta go 
supposed to get your car washed if you live in the barracks, just come right here. I bet you this gas is probably cheaper. See, 87 is 289 and mid-grade is 313. The gas on post, not on all posts, but on most installations is cheaper. That man ain't gonna take it out. You got it, sir? Need help? So we're gonna get some ice cream right now. And we're heading to Satellite Beach to end the day. I mean, we're sitting in the room. It's a bright and sunny day. And still it's almost seven o'clock at night. So yeah, no point in sitting in the room. So we, we said we're gonna get out and just go out and you know get some ice cream and so we'll end the video with the ice cream and then tomorrow is another day we're going to be heading back to you know home front oh you should have turned right there but <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. so i just night? yeah oh. <laughs> so just go down to the next one i'm talking so much right. till i had her miss her turn They got a little bit of everything. Floats, milkshakes, sundaes, cups, cone, whole dip. I don't know. Little dog sundae, big dog sundae. I don't know what anything that has the word dog in it. What you gonna get? I don't know yet. She don't know yet. I'm looking. She looking. He look and junior banana split. <laughs> junior banana split. <laughs> you go. <laughs> go. That's it. So many choices. <laughs> but it's for the lady right here. Um, let me try the junior banana split. Okay. What kind of ice cream would you um, like on that? Not vanilla. I want to. Right here. 803. <laughs> All right. Making the little video. I like yeah, it. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know. Doing a little something. Are you guys on vacation out here? Actually, yes. We're down yeah. from the Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay. And Daniel Beach area, yeah. So we just spend the weekend down here. You so come, far. Is this your first time or you come down here? First time. Oh, really? You yeah. like it? Yeah. It's a lot less, you know, yeah. hustle and bustle oh, than yeah. where you guys are at. Oh, yeah. Yes. We're both uh, military veterans, so we just come down to oh, yeah? Air Force Base. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for your service, boss. My, Absolutely. My, both, my mom was Air Force, and my dad was Army and Air Force. Okay. Okay. okay so we're Army. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, right on. Right yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have it right after you guys. Okay, thank you, bro. Thank no you. problem. All right. All right. Thanks. So if you really think about it, if you really think about the name of the ice cream place, it's called Surfing Turtle. So there's the turtles right there. Mm -hmm. I got you. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. It's already, I know. It's a lot. Anybody who knows ice cream and gets banana splits knows that the banana split is a lot of ice cream. It's too much. It's too much. I could never do it. It's just half a banana. Good thing I get a half a banana. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it all. I know. See, look, I'm the type of person, I let my eyes be bigger than my stomach. I can admit that, guys. I can admit that. I will order something, and I will only eat a little bit of it, and then I won't eat no more. I don't, I don't go up it up. Just because I bought it. Eh, okay. I don't eat it all, I just don't eat it all. Well, alrighty, good morning to everybody. Guys, we're getting ready to head out, getting ready to go fuel up so we can get on the road and get, go back down south, guys. But we had a great time here at, I know I've been saying Patrick Air Force Base, guys, but it's actually 
Patrick Space Force Base. It has been renamed, but it's all the same. People still know it as Patrick Air Force Base. Guys got the barracks back here. That's where we stayed here. And again, it brought back a lot of fun memories, um, you know, of places that we used to go when we were in the military. You had the commissary, PX, you know, shop at places like that, guys. And so if you're military, you understand these things. If you're a civilian, civilian you know, you might not, you might not understand it, guys. I said, sometime, I, I want to be able to revisit all of the military bases that I was stationed at throughout my career. And I'm going to make that happen, guys. And so, yeah, get away from the big city, come here, relax, enjoy ourselves, guys. We didn't get a chance to, I ain't going to say we didn't get a chance to, um, but Melbourne, we went to Cocoa Beach. But uh, next time we have more time, we'll get a chance to kind of travel and go around a little bit more. But uh, we had a great time, guys. And I appreciate you guys coming along the journey with us. And um, yeah, we're gonna get ready to probably head back that way and probably stop by and check on the progress of the house one last time before we before we uh, take that ride on back. But thank y'all for, again, hanging in there, guys. Um, like the video, share the video, guys. And of course, subscribe to pay yourself back. And until next time, be well, my friend. Celos out, baby.